Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. So I do have a different setup today because I just needed a change of environment. Um, so it's temporary, but I hope you like it. So today's reading is going to be for divine soulmate connections, twin flame connections. We're going to take a look at what's going on with the divine masculines as well as the feminines and what is coming up. So that's all I had to say. So let's get right into it and see what is going on with the masculines. But already I'm getting that, I kind of feel like they are in the, like in this phase where they're feeling the pain that the feminines felt at some point, all right? And it's going to be different for all of you depending on what you have felt and what you have gone through. But I feel like the masculines right now, for the most part, are experiencing something similar to what the feminines had experienced at some point in the past. Let's see. All right, we have Envy. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if, if the feminists have ever felt Envy, but it could just be, um, just, you know, just take the, the essence, all right, of this card, all right? Feeling like you would want something that you can't have. So it's kind of like that, and it could also be that the masculines are actually envious of the energy that you are in right now or something that is happening in your life or just in general. Let's see. Let's see what else we get. All right, we have destruction and lessons. Yeah, so de this destruction card, that's like the tower, all right? So definitely going through a very um, difficult time period right now with the emotions that they are processing. And from this, though, they're learning a lot of lessons. It's like they have to go through this pain. And I feel like, like I said, that it's a pain that a similar pain to what their counterpart has already been through. And because of that, it's like the, the feminine has already learned certain lessons from that pain. You've learned things about yourself and now it's the masculine who is learning those lessons because of that of that tower moment or of these realizations or just whatever it is that they're feeling. So actually, let me get one more here. And communication. <laughs> All right, so I feel like there's this desire to communicate with you what it is that they are going through, what it is that they are feeling, all right? In some way or another, it is going to be um, related to something along the lines of envy, all right? And this is something that they do want to communicate with you. I'm not sure if they are. I mean, some of you might not even be in contact at all. Some of you are in semi-contact. Some of you are in full contact. Either way, there are things I feel that they are holding back from you. Now, for some of you, it could be that they're actually expressing this, but I feel like for the most part, they're not going to fully express what it is that they're feeling. So let's get into the tarot and see what else we get. All right, we have the Page of Wands, the Star, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so this is their general energy. They're feeling, they're feeling this drive. They're feeling this desire, as I said, to, I, what I feel is to communicate. To communicate. Um, I, again, it feels like what they are feeling, what it is that they are learning, what are they understanding? I feel like they, they're they actually having a hard time understanding it themselves, which just makes it more difficult to communicate it. And so they're stopping themselves. They're holding back with that Knight of Pentacles being in reverse. It's like not moving forward with that plan. They really, really want to, though. This desire is very, very strong with that, with the star being here. Let's see what else. Right, 
the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so <laughs> this is like the main message here today um, for the masculines is that there's something that they really want to discuss about with you. And there's a lot of holding back. Um, a lot of defensiveness here. There's a lot of resistance. And I feel like the reason why is because they feel like... Um, how do I express this? It's almost as if they, they feel like they're very aware of how you might view them, how you might perceive them. They're worried about their self-image to you. And it's like if they were to express to you what they are feeling, the emotions and what they are going through even though they can't even fully understand it, that it's like there's this sense of coming across as you seeing them as less, like them actually um, appearing less in your eyes, if that makes sense. I'm having a hard time finding the American expression. Um, almost like, you know, they feel like they would be very self-conscious as to how they might appear to you if they were to express what they are going through. And yeah, you know, a part of it would naturally be, well, you know, because if you're feeling that way, then why haven't you done something about it? And so for that reason, you know, they're holding back like like a means of it's a it's a way of self-protection, protecting their self-image to you. So let's see if we want to clarify anything here. Yeah, because see, we have both knights are in reverse. That's the thing. It's like they want to, and then like they want this victory. They want to have success in communicating, um, but they resist. They hold back, and then they just don't. They stop themselves. Let me just get a clarifier here. Oh, all right. We got three. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the world, and the Queen of Wands. See, so this is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you as this Queen of Wands. They're seeing you as someone who is very desirable. They're holding you very high um, in their minds. They feel like there is just this huge distance between where you are and where they are. They they're seeing themselves as this queen of pentacles in reverse, as in having a low sense of self-worth. They're afraid that this is, th so this is like exactly what I was saying. They feel like you have completed um, certain, either certain chapters in your life or just certain aspects, like you have closed out this part of yourself, like you're done being feeling like you're not um, like you're not worthy enough or you're just done accepting any just any type of behavior or any kind of attitude or whatever you're out of that you're done with that they're not or at least that's how they're seeing how they're seeing it how they're seeing the situation and so they feel like there's this world of, of difference between the two of you here you have completed things. You're moving forward. You, they're seeing you as being successful here. Um, and that's another reason why I feel like they're feeling like, you know, their, um, their ego pretty much is, is threatened. And it's not only threatened by the idea of them communicating how they feel to you. It's also threatened by the way that they're actually feeling. All right. Because they're feeling that envy towards you and where and the way that you are now carrying yourself all right so i mean if you are in no contact whatsoever that it could be that the masculines are just picking up your masculine is just picking up on this um energetically or maybe through social media or just in any other in any other way or maybe they're just assuming this about you so let's move on to the feminines And see what is going on with you. Ooh, we have patience. All right. Let's see what else. All 
right, we have refocus, reinvention, and offer. Okay. So the feminines, you feel like you have been very patient. Um, you definitely have been. Also, it's that you've learned what patience really means. And I've talked about this, I feel, quite a bit, so I'm not going to get too into it right now. Um, but I feel like you're, you're really understanding the virtue of patience and what that really means and that it does not mean just waiting. All right? Um, and this is why you are now refocusing your energy in a new direction. All right? In that new direction, it does not necessarily have to be um, another relationship. Or another commitment for some of you it definitely could be with this offer here I feel like um, that this is definitely a message for some of you you know that there is possibly another offer on the table for you and I feel like you are beginning to open up a little bit to that um, it's not going to be for all of you and but but whatever the case I'm also getting a message here that for some of you this refocus and this reinvention of yourself as a as an independent entity from the connection with your masculine, all right, it might feel like something new and it might be something that is a little difficult to adjust to. And for that reason, you're being asked to be just patient with yourself as you refocus, as you know, you just allow this to be a process. So let's, let's get a little more for the feminines here. We have the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords in Reverse, and the Page of Swords in Reverse. Hmm. So, I, <laughs> you know what this is coming um, across to me as? It's like a never-ending ending, almost. Like, that's how you are seeing this. Like, it feels, you feel the ending of this, all right? I feel like you have been through a lot of pain and for some of you, that pain is still there. And I feel like what this is saying here is that sometimes you're unsure, like, is this really over? Like, am I really done? Because a lot of times when I feel like I'm moving forward, I, I go back to that. And then for others of you, it's that, you know, you don't feel at all like you're, like you're able to refocus, you know? Um, there's some of you that, that just believe, you know, this is what you want and that's pretty much it. And then others of you are trying to refocus and yet others of you are refocusing, okay? But there's, this is like the theme here and what the um, feminines I feel are currently facing, that refocus, whatever phase you're in for that or whatever aspect of that refocus you are in. So there's a little bit of doubts here. Like not being sure if you, how you can follow through with that ending. It almost feels like, like I said, it's like a never ending ending. Um, so let me just clarify this real quick. All right, yeah, two of swords and the nine of pentacles. So I feel like, okay, this is going to be for some of you. I don't feel like it's for all of you, but there's this sense of, you know, having these doubts here, it's coming up again with the two of swords and the nine of pentacles in reverse, you know, not being sure, like, can, are you really independent of this? So you, you might feel like you are, you might feel like you're refocusing, but then those doubts kick in because certain things will happen. And the reason why certain things happen to trigger you and then you might feel like, so you're not as detached as you thought you were, is because, well, this is a connection that's always going to be there. That bond is always going to be there unless you very deliberately say that, you know, um, and make that decision that you don't want this in your life and you don't want to be on this journey anymore. And sometimes even then, it's still very difficult to break away from it completely. So know that some triggers that still happen and that still affect you, it does not mean that you are not moving in the right direction. It does not mean that you are not detaching. There will still be triggers even when you are um, 
not expecting anything from, from the masculine or from this outcome. And that's there in order to help you to grow, to help you to, to learn. There's still things that you are resolving within your own self. It's about you. It's not about the masculine or, and, or even about union. It's about you, all right, these triggers. So let's see what else. Let's get a couple more for the feminines. All right, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> I feel like it's the same message coming through again, um, just in a different way. So basically what this is saying is that, yeah, you know, you are moving forward. This is, look at you. With the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands, you are moving ahead. You are moving ahead. You are taking action. You... It, it might not always feel like it, all right? That's why we have the, t the Two of Pentacles here. Again, it's like feeling that fluctuation, feeling like, can I really manage this? Yes, you can. Plain and simple. You can, you know why? Because, because you're already doing it, all right? It, yeah, it might feel difficult, but... But you are, there is a lot of movement, all right, on your side here. So let me clarify the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Some of you might, act, might physically be moving. They're making just very big um, changes here. The Nine of Cups. Let me get one more. And the Hermit in Reverse. So it's like I can hear you saying, you know, well, I hope that's true. And I feel like that's what's coming through here with that Nine of Cups. Like this is what you would want, like deep down, It, it doesn't mean that you don't want the masculine life because I do also feel that for a lot of you, you are getting, um, you are feeling that things are moving along, all right, with the masculine. I feel like this is just a very particular message here about something, regardless of where you are in your journey, no matter what is going on between the two of you, there is something here that they want, that they would want to express to you about how they feel because it's, I feel like it's torturing them inside, but they're holding back, all right? Um... Regardless of that, though, even if things feel like they're moving um, upwards between you and your masculine, I feel like you're still, you're still working on your detachment regardless because now you are seeing this situation in a different type of a way. You are handling, you are reacting in a different type of a way, okay, if that is your situation where the two of you seem to be um, coming closer. All right, to a union. You're still moving forward when it comes to um, finding your own self in this, finding your own individuality. And I feel like for you, if that's your situation, that's what this refocus and this reinvention is, is about, is that you are now coming at this from a very different perspective. And this is something that you are hoping is true. This is something that you would want. And this is the confirmation here that, yeah, you are moving in that direction. But I feel like with the hermit being in reverse, again, it's like your own self-doubts about what it is that you know about yourself. It's like um, doubting your own knowledge and your own insights about your own self. And I'm getting the message very, very strongly. No, you know, trust what you feel. If you feel like you're moving ahead, in a way, but you're doubting it. No, you are. You can still um, want this or still be in contact, let's say, with your masculine and still be moving forward when it comes to your, um, to your own self. Things are still different. And yeah, again, that's just, I'm just trying to get all the, how this can apply to different groups of you. All right, so yeah, today's reading is a little bit quicker than usual because I just wanted to get just a couple of specific messages for you. So let's see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks or so for the masculines. See if they're going to release this resistance and communicate to you what it is that they want. All right, we have the 
Strength card, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Six of Swords. All right, okay, so this is actually pretty good because this is them gaining that strength. So if this is about the communication, I do see them building up the courage. Not only the courage, but also having a deeper understanding about themselves and having a little bit more compassion with their own selves when it comes to that envy so that they can actually um, process it rather than having that energy be like this destruction, right? Like that tower that we had here. And so I feel like with this Eight of Swords being in reverse, that fear that they have of, of either communicating with you or of maybe for some of them it's just about processing what they're feeling, they're moving away from that, all right? They are releasing that fear. And that's also why we have the Six of Swords because they're moving towards coming more at peace with their own self more at peace with what it is that they're feeling, which was causing them to overanalyze things, all right, before, because I feel like right now that's what they're doing. They're overanalyzing um, themselves and it's just a little chaotic right now in their minds, but they're learning that lesson. They're learning that lesson and becoming stronger because of it. Let me see, let me just get three more. Is there anything else, any specific actions towards the feminine or just anything? All right, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands. All right, so this is definitely um, positive movement. There's, there, um, okay, so the Seven of Swords in reverse, I feel like this is them um, not wanting to escape what they feel anymore because that's what they're doing now. Um, I feel like, like I said, you know, there's that resistance here, all right, with the Seven of Wands. It's like trying to protect themselves. Here with the Seven of Swords, it's like not wanting to escape what they feel anymore. And I feel like it's, it's, it's a lot more confrontational. So yes, with the, with the Knight of Wands, I feel that, yes, for a lot of them, there is going to be action and movement in your direction to communicate to you whatever this is about, all right? Um, of course, that's not going to be for, for all of you, especially if, you know, there hasn't been contact for a while, it might be a little less likely for them to come forward at, at this point in time, but there's definitely some kind of, of a movement here. All right, so let's see for the feminines. Ooh, okay, wow, you have strength as your first card out here as well. All right, so Strength, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like this is just you, again, being having a little bit of doubt when it comes to your strength and to whether you are moving towards happiness and whether you are moving towards what it is that will fulfill you. Like, is this really what I want? You're hoping that you are doing that. And again, I just feel like this keeps coming through. You're having those doubts, but yes, the answer is you are, you do have that strength. You do have that deeper understanding also within your own self in order to move towards what it is that is going to ultimately be for your highest good here and bring you bring you fulfillment. There's no need to overanalyze. There's no need to overthink certain things, you know, just allow the situation to be what it is and allow yourself, if that refocus is happening, like just allow it to happen naturally and don't worry about rushing to adjust to it. Give yourself time for whatever that might be for you, okay? It might be in regards to this connection. It might not. It might be um, coming together with the masculine. It could be whatever it is for you. So let's see what else we have here. We have the Eight of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Five of Wands. All right, so this is a message for some of you again. Um, I, I don't feel like it's going to be for all of you, but it can be uncomfortable detaching from a connection that you felt is or that you feel still is so spiritual and possibly meant to be. All right, that might 
that creates a little bit of conflict for you. Again, it's, it's a very similar message though. And that's for those of you who are moving away from it or detaching from it. Even if, you know, again, even if you are coming to better terms with your masculine, all right, if things seem to be moving ahead, I feel like you still feel some kind of a, um, you feel different. There's a different type of a detachment um, now that is present now that possibly wasn't there before and that can be uncomfortable and that can cause you to feel some conflict. Don't. <laughs> Don't. There's a reason for it, and it's okay. It, it's things are still moving in the right direction. All right. Um, this is just something that is necessary in order for you to have that reinvention. All right. And I do get that eventually things will. Um, if that's if that's your situation, things will feel as bonded as they did before. It doesn't matter if you are if you are feeling more detached in whatever way that is meant to happen here. All right. Um, it's, there's no need for you to feel that that conflict. And then for those of you where, you know, it's that's not the case for you. It's just that. Um, there is no let's just say there is no communication or things don't seem to be working out. Then again, you know, it might feel uncomfortable allowing yourself to detach from this. That's okay. Again, I come back to this very first card. Just give yourself time. You know, just be patient with your own self when it comes to this to this process. Because I do feel like for a lot of you, there are there are triggers right now um, that are helping you to detach, or that they're meant to help you to release expectations and control for this situation. All right, so. Let's just get a final, just a couple of final messages for you to close out this reading. Let's see. Ooh, we have a message in a bottle. Let me get one more. And we have breathe. All right. So yeah, so for a lot of you, there is a message coming. All right, I feel like for a lot of you, the masculines are going to, your masculine is going to communicate um, with you and try to express what something that they have been feeling, something that they have been holding back from you, which I feel is causing them to um, feel like, you know, they're having a tower moment pretty much. It's, it's driving them crazy the way I'm picking up on this. All right, so you're definitely getting that. But, and just overall in general, um, be be receptive to the messages that you also might be getting um, from the universe, from your spirit teams. Okay, I feel like there's a lot that is going on right now. And of course, breathe. <laughs> Again, this is reminding me of the patience card, you know, like just relax and let things unfold. All right, things are moving in the way that that they are meant to. So I'm going to leave it at that. And yeah, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if this resonated. Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Much love.